people like Houdini and others spent quite a bit of time tracking down these fake mediums uh, who were putting on shows and were completely fraudulent. Uh, the this overlay then that psychics or mediums are frauds is comes us to the present day. This is why skeptics will say the whole thing is fraudulent. Well, no, there are some people posing as as frauds, but that doesn't mean they're all frauds. And in particular, D.D. Home, even as a young man, was showing these special talents. And he was he eventually did thousands of shows, the physical mediumship shows with very large tables that were levitated, not in complete darkness, but in light, witnessed by all kinds of people, including skeptics of the day and royalty and everybody else. Uh, and, and more importantly, by magicians, stage magicians, who wanted to know how he did his tricks. And so after thousands of people watching him over many decades, there was never anybody who figured out how he did it as a trick. And of course, he, he said, this is not a trick. This is this is for real. So I mentioned in, in my book, Real Magic, then, that uh, the one of the best biographies that I've read about this was published by a performing magician who also happens to be a scholar who wrote his biography about D.D. Home. And he gets to the end of, of the book and he said, well, what do I think about this? Since I'm a magician, a professional stage magician, I know how to do illusions and so on. And it, his answer is he has no idea. It is everything we can look at in terms of the historical record of which there's quite a bit says this guy was for real. He was never caught in any kind of fraud it sounds impossible. And yet that is a it's a Merlin level person. I wish we had the DNA of these people because I suspect it would teach us a lot about why they're different. I wish we had some people today who were able to do that kind of thing, like a, a St. Joseph of Cupertino and so on. 